Hi, today we're making a terrific soup. It's a spinach, feta, and pine nut soup. I came up with this recipe growing up. I grew up across the street from a Greek Orthodox church where they had food festivals and food bazaars, and I could never keep myself away from them. At every one of these festivals and bazaars, they always served spanakopita, which is a phyllo spinach pie with cheese. Normally, it would have feta cheese in there. So today, we're doing a take on the dish spanakopita, and we are making spinach, feta, and pine nut soup. It's quick. It's easy. You could come home from work, and you could literally be sitting down to eat within 45 minutes. To start, we're going to start with a little piece of butter, and we're going to saute some onions, celery, and fresh garlic. We're going to sweat the vegetables. We're going to try to release all of the pores in the vegetables, get the caramelization going, add another extra layer of seasoning to our vegetables. So for the next five minutes, I'm just going to stir this mixture of celery, onions, garlic, and butter. So now we've given the celery and onions and garlic some time to really do their work. They've released a lot of their sugar. And if you look inside our pan, we have some nice brown coloring right in with our vegetables. That's also called fond. That's what creates the beautiful stock flavoring for our soup. At this point, we're going to add some potatoes. Add whatever potatoes you like, but remember that not all potatoes are created equal. I like to use Yukon Gold potatoes because they're thick, they're very heavy, and they're starchy. And when I puree my soup, it's going to add a beautiful consistency. It's going to give it great texture. It's going to give it silkiness. So that's why I always add the Yukon Gold. I'm adding about five potatoes here. Now, a question of stock. Whether you want to use vegetable stock or chicken stock, it's up to you. It's all who you're cooking for. We're going to add six to eight cups. Last but not least, we're going to add about a cup of some good dry white wine. I'm going to add some pinches of some ground nutmeg because nutmeg and spinach are the perfect spice together. Whenever you make cream spinach, you always add a little nutmeg, so we're going to add a little to this soup. At this point, I'm going to cover the soup. We're going to bring it to a boil. We're going to let those potatoes get really nice and tender. And just think, we haven't even added our fresh spinach yet. So this came together pretty quickly. It only took about 12 minutes for it to come to a boil. The potatoes, we cut them in smaller pieces so they're tender, and I think that we're ready to puree the soup. So what do I have in my hand? This is an immersion blender. This does all the pureeing without having to use a blender. Sometimes when you put hot liquids in a blender, you can have explosions. So some smart person invented the immersion blender. Now we're adding our fresh spinach. Why do I add it last? I add it last so that we can keep the integrity. And we're going to keep the color of the spinach really vibrant. And at the same time, we're keeping all of our nutrients. So a little at a time, we're going to puree it. And we'll keep adding spinach. And keep pureeing it until it's nice and smooth and it comes together easily. So we've just added the rest of our spinach. We're getting a beautiful, vibrant green soup here. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit of cream. You don't need a lot of cream, just a little bit of cream. And I want to make sure that everything is really nice and smooth, pureed. And after we get that pureed, we're going to taste it, we're going to season it, we're going to make some adjustments, and we'll be ready to eat. 
We are ready to eat our spinach, feta, and pine nut soup. It's been pureed. Now we're at the point where we're going to season it, make sure we've done a good job. Tastes fabulous. We're just going to add a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper. We're going to add a few shakes of some Worcestershire sauce. One, two, three, four, five, six. Little hit of kosher salt. Give it a nice little stir. Make sure everything's blended really nicely. And I think we're ready to plate and serve. We're going to add the spinach into the bowl. And we're going to garnish it with our feta cheese and pine nuts. So here we have this exquisite bowl of spinach soup. We're now going to add a few slices or crumbles of feta cheese. I'm very particular about the feta cheese that I use at New England Soup Factory. I only use Bulgarian or French feta cheese. It's made from sheep's milk and it's creamy and glorious and really fabulous. I'm just going to float a little slab of French feta. I'm going to cover it with some toasted pine nuts. I have some little triangles of toasted phyllo dough. And it's like a spinach pie deconstructed. Here you go. This is our spinach, feta, and toasted pine nut soup.